What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. What's going on with the collective? And the sisters of the house, white light. What is the message? Somebody is in the mood for some love. Somebody has a toxic parent. Somebody might spend too much money, too. I don't know. It could be the toxic parent. Oh, your love is so sweet. Somebody thinks that your love is very sweet. We've also got karma. And um, somebody's fantasizing about you. And we've also got don't pay attention. I am going to assume it's don't pay attention to the toxic parent. Um, you are a light worker for sure. Um, read between the lines. Listen to your intuition. You might even have, I've got you are my MVP. You might even have somebody coming in, um, like a karmic that's trying to come in and that you should not be paying attention to. So self-preserve. Um, your eyes tell me everything. I feel like you're a seer and an empath, all right? Um, so you probably have like a dream, like premonitions and things like that. And um, yeah, we've got criminal. I feel like somebody is trying to come in. Um, you might even be feeling this. They might even be fantasizing about you as well. Karma, but I feel like if they fuck with you, they're gonna get some bad karma. So, um, hmm, what else, spirit? I, this, I feel like they're going to, it's like, either you or they have a toxic parent. Like, maybe you're not used to, like, um, healthy love. And so, um, and take what resonates, you guys. But a lot of times, when we're not used to, um, like, love that's healthy, it, um can reflect in our outward our on our um in our outward outward world. I don't know why I can't say that. It's so weird. Um so that might be why this karmic is coming in. But I feel like you are moving up. You're doing a lot of really um good work. And um so basically it's just like read between the lines and listen to your intuition with regards to this karmic that's trying to come in um, because I feel like you can just nip it. You don't have to go through like a karmic cycle with them. You can just like, you, you could, that could be the lesson. Like you recognize that this is a karmic, move on. You know what I mean? Um, somebody needs to remember to eat. I feel like you're very innocent. You might also be very shy. Um, and I just feel like somebody needs some R&R and, &R and uh, self-care and preserve. We've got that twice. Um, and you, you are in the light. So I feel like they're trying to come in to get some of that good light. The only way uh, is up. Um, I see the future in your eyes. They might even say that to you. Huh. But it's only lust. And that might resonate with you because you are not, you are a seer. Like, you actually are a seer. But again, listen to your intuition, okay? And um, if you do have a toxic parent, I, I do feel like it would be, um, and you do feel like you're, you're kind of having an awakening of sorts, it would be good to remove yourself from that parent, that toxic parent, okay? Because when we're having these types of awakenings and these types of, like, elevated frequencies, it's important to take space from um, any type of negative interference or energy. Because we are manifesting our new reality, all right? And you don't want to have, like, toxic karmics in um, that new reality, okay? So just um, take a lot of time to yourself to self-preserve and just take what resonates, too, okay? Um, we're all connected. Enlightenment. Yeah, you're definitely coming into some sort of an enlightenment. Yeah, somebody wants to just, like, have a good time with you. Um, I would just, yeah. <laughs> Don't waste my time. Like, just, I don't, just don't even waste your time. Like, um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but, like, I don't have time for a lot of stuff. So, like, I mean, you know, if it's not the right one, then I'm not going to try to make it the right one. You know what I mean? Like, so that, but that's just me. Okay. Um, 
Let's see what else is going on here. Let's pull from the, the Love Oracle deck. What else, Spirit? Anything else? Weird, I'm having a hard time shuffling today. Maybe the karmic doesn't want us to know what's going on. The karmic doesn't want us to know their secrets. Mm -hmm. Kisses. Unconditionally loving. So I feel like you're like in this place of like unconditional love. And it's almost like somebody's trying to come in and... Um, Somebody's trying to come in and uh, exploit that, okay? Uh, you know, we a lot of times when we raise frequency um, and, and we come into this new, like, enlightenment and this, this beautiful frequency, higher frequency of love, it, it can almost make us feel... It, it almost makes us a little naive. It, it, can, it can be very easy to get lost in that space. It's a very beautiful energy. So... And in that energy, it's it's not as easy to discern. Um, so just, I don't know, just be cognizant of that. Uh, cassette, outdated thinking. Yeah, I feel like somebody's coming in who is not very unconditionally loving. But you, I feel like you will understand and you will see the signs. And you, this is a good opportunity for you to listen to your inner knowing and your inner intuition too. Um, Labradorite is really good for inner knowing and inner intuition. Connecting with our inner intuition. I do have that in my Etsy shop. I will leave a link in the description box below. Um, so I feel like, but I, I do also feel like... Yeah, mask. Somebody's pretending and somebody might start. This is a narcissist. But take what resonates, okay? Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Um, they just want to exploit you. This would. This sounds like a psychic vampire. This is somebody who uh, kind of comes in during these times when we're, you know, when we don't have our defenses up so much. And, um, and usually uh, love bombs and creates a sacral chakra attachment that way and then lowers our frequency by doing like trauma bonding or just like straight up being abusive, like gaslighting and stuff like that. So just be careful. Listen to your inner intuition. Again, I'm hearing that. And, um, and I feel like you are a seer and an empath too. So it's like your eyes tell me everything. Their eyes are going to tell you everything. And the first time that you meet them and you look into their eyes, Trust exactly what you understand and exactly what you see about that person, okay? And, and the words and whatever they say, and, this, and take what resonates, but whatever they say, don't even listen to anything that they say, okay? What you see in their eyes is their soul and you understand what it is, okay? And you might even see future events that, or even past lives that may have happened between the two of you and trust that, all right? Um, and if you... Um, a lot of times what I like to do too when I meet people is I don't like to spend an ex I don't like to spend a lot of time with them like an extended period of time with them. I will just kind of, you know, spend um I don't know, a, a little bit of time and then I usually go home and I will meditate on it and then whatever messages I receive, I write down and I know that that's kind of how the relationship is going to be. That's how you can tell if it's a karmic, a soulmate, a twin flame, anything like that. But that initial meeting before there's any other type of like, like human interaction that can almost confuse you, um, that's that you will know, okay? Trust that and write and write that down. Meditate on that, okay? Uh, the dragonfly, uh, be lighthearted, finding out um, things coming to light. Adapt, change, heal. Stabbed in the back. You don't want to get stabbed in the back, all right? Um, so, like I said, uh, when you when you first meet people, look in their eyes and um, understand who they are by looking in their eyes, not necessarily hearing what they're saying, okay? And go home and meditate and um, and uh, write down whatever it is that you see, okay? I feel like this might be a copycat karmic, honestly, because I feel like you might even have a twin flame that's coming in um, because we have the twin flame and heart with a key. Yeah, so you're raising frequency and you're getting ready to um, get back in union with your twin flame. This is what they call temptation. Okay, so resist temptation. Um, and be, you know, you can be lighthearted about rejecting them. Take what resonates. 
Yes. Yeah, I feel like you're, you might even know who your twin flame is and um, you are in separation currently with your, with your twin flame, okay? Um, let's pull some cards. Ancestors of the High Sweet Light. I feel like Labradorite would be really helpful for somebody though. High Priestess, I definitely feel like you have an inner knowing. You might even be not sleeping well and you might even have some anxiety. Um, and it, that is honestly your, your, um, your body, your, your, your guides are trying to have your body tell you that something isn't quite right, okay? That something is coming in that doesn't belong in your life, so to speak. So that's kind of how our guides will communicate that to us oftentimes. What else, Spirit? Anything else? Justice, yeah, if this person fucks with you, oh, I'm sorry. Like, they're going to have, like, they're going to have to deal with some karmic, some karmic laws, all right? Um... Hmm. This is going to help you to be a lot more discerning, I feel like. Um, but the thing is, is like we can get into karmic situations and we can, um, we can go through the, we can, we don't have to go on a journey in order to understand karmics and that karmics are not good for us, okay? We don't have to do that whole get trapped in our head and, and do that whole fucking thing, okay? We don't have to do that. The, the other option is to just have faith in our knowing. So that's what you need to do. You are a seer, you are an empath, you are um, a very, you know, you are a highly sensitive person, extrasensory, um, and so you can trust that. You don't have to go through the karmic journey, all right? Not, you don't have to. Nobody has to do that, all right? I feel like their wish will not, whatever they want to do and they, however they want to fuck with you, it's not going to work, okay? You're, I feel like you're much stronger than that. And you have all of the tools. Um, I feel like you're waiting for your twin flame to come back, too. So you need to have faith in that as well, is the message that I'm receiving. Who, um, yeah, we've got the Four of Wands. There's definitely a twin flame that's, um, that's trying to come in or is, you are waiting for, um, the moon in the reverse position. This other person just has an ego. You don't have time for that. You don't want to deal with that, okay? Just look in their eyes, meditate on it, know who they are. You can, you might even, you might even, when you look in their eyes and you meditate, you might even know exactly what you need to say to them to get them away from you. I don't know. Like You might not even want to waste your time. I'm just saying. That's me. All right? The Wheel of Fortune. This is, you're up. You're moving up. Okay? I feel like you are also divinely protected and you are so intuitive. Like, I am just, I'm, I'm feeling it. Like, I'm knowing it. Um, so trust that. Ace of Wands. Yeah. So intuitive. Okay? Five of Cups. This is my Psychic Vampire card. Psychic Vampire Dark Empath. All right? <clears throat> I feel like you might be starting like your own business, you might be doing something, um, and you don't want this to get in the way of that, okay, you have a lot of abundance that's coming in, you just, you don't want this to get in the way, alright, you're moving up in frequency, um, don't let them ton of cups you in the reverse position, alright, what else, spirit, anything else, and sisters of high school, right? Yeah, this is this is somebody who's negatively polarized, okay? But I'm literally I'm this is so creepy. I'm literally seeing somebody in my mind's eye with like this Grinch smile. It's much creepier than the Grinch though. Like the Grinch isn't even creepy, but it's like this human that's like got this Grinch smile, okay? So like it's they're not going to come off that way at first, all right? Oof. Ooh, I don't like their energy at all. It's creepy as fuck. Um but yeah, high priestess, you're going to know all right, you're gonna know. Um, yeah, you have to trust your knowing and you have to have faith. And honestly, after you go through this, like nobody's gonna be able to fuck with you, okay? Nobody's gonna be able to fuck with you. <laughs> the neighbors. <laughs> Those are fireworks, party, see, yay, celebration, okay? <laughs> Leveling up, oh, the neighbors are lighting off fireworks. Um, but yeah, six, uh, seven of pentacles, just keep focusing on your work, okay? <laughs> what else, spirit? Anything else? <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I feel like that might be the end of the message there. Um, let's see what the mermaids have to say also, okay? <laughs> 
yeah, nobody's, they're not going to be able to fuck with you. Just trust yourself, okay? You don't have to go through these stupid journeys, these karmic journeys. Ugh. Discernment, what did I say, okay? Use discernment. You're leveling up. This is next level. You are, you are an empowered empath, all right? That's what you're doing right here, and you are showing yourself that you're an empowered empath, okay? Yeah. Recognition. Yep. Mm-hmm. Decisions. Decisions. What are you going to do? Just get them out. Get them out. Keep them moving so you can keep moving. <laughs> I heard somebody say I know. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that. <laughs> yeah, trust. You have to trust yourself, okay? Trust again. Yep, trust. Uh huh. Awareness and awareness, okay? Trust yourself, all right? You are amazing. Okay. That is the reading. Um, yeah, let me know if it resonates. And um, I hope that you guys are all doing really, really well. And, um, you know, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And um, until next time. All right. Oh, if you would like a personal reading, definitely feel free to text me 616-485-3479 and we can set that up. Okay? All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. All right. Bye-bye.